and welcome everybody to a very special episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers where we are going to have the opportunity to unbox a booster box and ETB from the new Paldia Evolved Collection. Yeah, this set is not going to be released to the public until June 9th, uh, so we are a couple weeks out on that, but the Pokemon Company was kind enough to send us a couple of things in advance, so today we are going to unbox these two products to show you uh, what is what you can be looking for in the upcoming seasons of box breakers and what big cards to pull. So no, this is exciting because normally whenever we open stuff, it's, we're sending the stuff out and that's so great. But today, these are just our cards. So we just get to open things for ourselves. We're just super see. exciting. The other weird thing about this is that typically, as you know, the entire box breakers uh, structure revolves around the uh, monetary value of each of the cards. But at the moment, these aren't available. There is no monetary value. So it's going to be really cool to like both unpack things and just see them for like their artwork for what looks cool what feels right yeah uh, but then also like later see what the ultimate values of those cards I know ends up will being. will our reactions match the the price value oh, at some point it's gonna be so interesting so without any further ado let's break a box yeah All right, ETB first. Let's do it. As poor Jay's orders. Man, okay, so this is this is gonna be fun because I've I've seen um, chatter about some of the upcoming cards. Whenever you know a new card gets released, you know Pokemon Twitter goes crazy and they like to show you all the stuff and talk about them all. But I don't know what every card looks like, what all the Illustrator wears. Uh, so we're gonna do our best here. That was the uh, little booklet that comes with it. And boom! Oh, there we go. All there right, go. get rid of this thing. There we go. Okay, so right out of the box, we've got our little uh, our little coins. Poison and burn markers there. Burns. Oh, we got a, whoop, a great big stack of energy Two cards. cards right there. Ooh, so every uh, ETB will come with this Pikachu promo card featuring the Quaxley, Sprigatito, and Fui Coco on it. That's awesome. That's super cool. Looks really um, good. Here is what the uh, exclusive sleeves from this particular set look like. So yep. those are kind of neat. Let's see. The most important thing that comes in it to me that sets an ETB box apart is what the dice looks like. Okay. So sometimes okay. they look really great. Oh, this one's fun. So it's got the orange, the green, and the blue, if you can line oh, it up whoa. just right. That one's pretty fun. That is pretty cool. And like from certain angles, it looks less good. And then from other angles, it looks better. Like some you can see each of the three colors defined and then others, it, like from the top, it looks like a murky brown, but then you, it almost looks like a, um, what's that candy bar? That's like, like a Napole Napoleon? Is that what it's called? Do you know what I'm talking about? Nope. Okay. You mean like the ice cream? The ice cream? The ice cream. Napoleon ice cream. Yes. That's okay. a thing, right? Okay. Yeah. And then so. of course we have our damage counters in the blue and gray. Yep. Right there. They're stuck to the package. Bam. And then most importantly is of course going to be each of these lovely, lovely uh, booster packs. Right. So it comes with 10 in the booster box, right? Is it 10 or 8? 10 or 8. Thanks for just count. We can count, right. can't yeah. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So we were both <laughs> we wrong. We were both wrong. Okay. So As per usual. Okay. Bam. All right. Let's move these things out of the way and start cracking some packs. Let's do we'll be it. Throwing them in these sleeves provided by the ETB, right there. So we'll keep those on hand. All right. After you, brother. Oh my gosh, this is very exciting. The first pack ever. This is yeah, we never get uh, access to stuff this early, so I'm just I'm honored to have been included. I know this is really neat. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Everything we're about to see will be new. So there's their code card. Our Rock, Rock is, is pummeling. pummeling energy. So yeah. that's a good sign. The tandem mouse, which looks fairly similar to the one there's we know. A, yeah, I know. They can't make them look so different. I think that's the third tandem mouse they have. There we go. Yeah, but yeah. we know in this set that they've been doing a lot of that, like having like sort of like doubles down even for commons. Yeah. Sprigadito, the Magnemite. Knackley? Knackley? I don't even know. I guess it looks like a little rock mushroom. Honchcrow. Honchcrow. The Calamitous Wasteland. The Primate. Oh, I kind of like the, the artwork on that one. That is. The Magikarp. The Quaxley. And oh, oh! right out of the gate, we have a Sugaru. Let's read what he does. Choose up to two of your Pokemon and heal 50 damage from each of them. That feels like it could be good on like a Gardevoir deck that does a lot of damage uh, to itself. Along the way, what does Calamitous Wasteland do? I don't even know. The retreat cost of each basic non-fighting Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents, is one more. Okay, so that would be like to trap non-fighting pet Pokemon in the uh, in the active. That could maybe go with like the Spydops EX or something, I'm imagining. All right, all right. There we go, all right. So we're off to a good start, though. A great start. Yeah, it's like first, pa first pack, new set. First pack full, yeah, new set. Full art. So here, let's just keep that guy right there. 
we keep go. it up there so yeah. we can, uh, you know, admire our, our pulls. Okay, all right, pack number two. Got our energy right there. Oh, Satata. I love Satata and Satitan from this game. I have one on my team. The Shrudel. I can't believe there wasn't one of those in the first set. Phalanx, the Jigglypuff. Got our Palo Sand, a Raichu, Gothitelle, Calamitous Snowy Mountain. Whenever any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their non basic non-water Pokemon, put do oh, so this is like Old Cemetery, but for water type Pokemon. So I'm not that probably is only okay. Love Disc and then Glamoro. I got one of those on my team too. They're like a they're like a poison type. Nice. Yeah, when this Pokemon is knocked out, flip coin of heads. Yeah. All right. So that's cool. Okay. Okay. Pack number next. Crack open, code card to the side. There's our steel energy, the Fooey Coco, the Watchroll, the Oh, the Tinka Tink. These guys are so this is like the everyone's new favorite Pokemon, I feel like, is the Tinka Ton, the final evolution. I hope we pull one. It is so cool. Looking. That's awesome. Okay, the, yeah. the Shrudel, the Vigoroth. So we're seeing some Pokemon for the first time. Rongaru, the Electrode. The Zwilus. Won't score. The Toxic Croak won't <laughs> score. And the Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Oh, man. Which I feel like every Mimikyu uh, card, in my personal opinion, always ends up looking exactly the same. Because yeah. there's really just not a whole lot that you can do with this guy other than make him just look like a really super creepy looking Pikachu. It is definitely one of the Pokemon Company's favorite ones. But it's, I feel like he's got like the Mill Tank ability. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX and V Pokemon. So a very good like, ha, do you have an answer? If not, I win. So possibly a very competitive card. Good one. To, good one to pull out of here. There you go. You're up. Yeah, I think the one, the other card we're really looking for is the uh, the Iono. I think. I think that's in this set. For um, its ability or just rarity? Ju both. Okay. Both. It's okay. going to be that card that's like really good, and uh, I think it's going to be also pretty yeah. rare. I was reading the uh, Meowscarada. Oh, the Meowscarada. Okay, is, we'll is be one. There's, a, there's an that. illustrator rare version of that. All right. So we got the Rookity, the Magnemite, the Phalanx, the Combi. Skip room the Dendra. Don't know what that does. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw cards until you have five in your hand. Okay, so it's like keep most of your hand. Uh, discard the rest. The Bravery Charm. This is a very good one. Just increase your opponent, your Pokemon's HP by 50. Orthworm! This is Big Steve's new favorite Pokemon. This is going straight in my Metal GLC deck. It is so good. It is a basic Pokemon. If it has three... Uh, energy on it, it gets an additional 100 HP. So just as a basic single prize, you're gonna have 230, and what you do is then you actually put this card on it, it goes up to 280 hit points, which is massive for a for single a, prize for, Pokemon. That's impressive. Yeah, that's so impressive. there we go. That's very cool, and I know that uh, ever since this set was released, yeah. uh, Big Steve has been talking about Worthworm. Yes, he has. So there's also an Illustrator art version of this one, so I really hope we get the, that in this box as well, the Worthworm, that's gonna be awesome. All right, boom, your turn. All right. I think I'm still winning. Okay, yeah, are you? Because <laughs> you got the you got the Sigoro. The Magikarp, the Slowpoke, which I think the other Slowpoke is still gonna, or is it the Slowbro? The Slowbro. The Slowbro that we like, okay. Litleo, Rockruff, Siviper, Palmian Ooh, the and Tauros. That's yeah, there's cool. like a bunch of different types of Tauros in this game. That's that fun. That is awesome. That is super cool looking. Like he's, it looks like he's like blowing smoke like into the, like, like, um, like mist. Yeah, into Making the clouds. clouds. That's awesome. The Mabostiff. Um, Vespaquin. Yep. Nice. Second Glamora we've pulled. There we go. And oh, and oh. a T-Tar. Everyone loves a good T-Tar, right? This deck is 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That feels like, so that scales up pretty good. That could do 130 damage for one dark energy. That feels very good, like GLC-wise. You know what? And the other thing about that is that I feel like we'll probably pull a fair few, because uh, this is like a standard rare. I feel yeah. like we'll pull a fair few of them, but like, who's ever going to be sad about getting a T-Tar? No one. Yeah. Yeah. So T-Tar is awesome. awesome. All right, let's see. Next pack here. Well, I feel like so far we've only pulled like one like full art rare. Okay, so, so. For, for an ETB, it usually feels like there, there's a nice pull rate for ETBs, I yes. think. I got the pubs. The Giraffe Rig, this is like a uh, Gen 2 Pokemon that finally got an evolution, so it's exciting that that's going to be in here somewhere. Great Ball, the Raichu, the Gothitelle, the Arctobax. I, this was another one that you're probably going to want to look out for. The fully evolved form is like very powerful. I know people are on the lookout for that. That is awesome Mankey art. That is super cool. I like Dude. the, like, look at the fighting energy. Do you see yeah. like, Oh, I do, yeah, like on the reverse That's hollow super down there. Awesome. That is great. Love the Mankey art on there. Clavel, aka Clive, slacking. Oh, there's always a slacking. I bet he gets stuck. If this Pokemon is asleep, flip two coins instead of one during Pokemon checkup. If either 
of them is Tails, this Pokemon's still asleep. Yeah, and his other attack makes him go to sleep. So that's almost how, always how slacking works. He's just always sleeping. He's slacking. Slacking. Get it? The king of slacking. The king of slacking, exactly. King of slack. It's really just fun getting into a whole new path. I know, it's like everything's so, new. I know. This is I always have this problem like with movies where it's like our job is to watch trailers and analyze them and stuff for the internet, but then like sometimes I don't want to see trailers at all. So I know I have the yeah. same problem with Pokemon cards where it's like, oh new card, let me see. But also like I just want to be surprised. I just want to be surprised. I yeah. Wanna, oh yeah, there we go. So we got a Palmy, Larvitar, Sandy Gas, Tarantula. The Pupitar, the Flamigo. Flamigo. Like, I damn. love. What does this guy do? Okay, you keep going. Okay. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for three Flamigo, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So you can just like swarm with the Flamigo. That's so, so they're fun. definitely going for like a flock. Or what, what is a, a group of Flamingo called? A Flamboyance. A Flamboyance. Yeah. Going for a fla Flamboyance deck. Oh, and then the attack does more damage for every Pokemon in that has the United Wings attack. Okay. Right, oh, in your discard. That's what pile. I'm going for. Okay. One of my first deck can be a, fl uh, a Flamigo oh. deck. I'm running Flamboyance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Bombardier, the Raichu, the Shinx. Ooh, love the Shinx art. There we go. And the this Lush guy. Ray. This guy's going also straight in my Lightning GLC deck. Once during your turn, this Pokemon is in your hand and you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, you may put this Pokemon onto your bench. So that means you don't have to like evolve it all the way up. It's just if you're losing, there he is. He's right there. Boom. Fully loaded and he's electric. It means he's easy to charge up with electric generator. Is the Shinx and the Mankey art the same? The same artist? I bet it is. Kurumitsu, we're gonna be on the lookout. Let's okay, see if we can okay. find another one. I like that art. Well, so far, yeah, just the one, just the one full art. So, All right, well, we got two more packs in the ETB, packs. and then our entire booster box yet yeah, to so go. Plenty of stuff left to open. That's right. Let's see what we got. Yeah, put that over there. All right, the hop up. Don't have that yet. Everything. I feel like we still have so many we haven't even opened yet. Oh, I love the pink kerchief when they do like a little yes, claymation yeah, there. Those are awesome. Yeah, the Geocomo, the Talonflame, oh, my Heracross. Tropius, uh, do we have something here? No. Litlio, and yet another Glamora. Man, so this uh, feels like a seven center, doesn't that does, it? In the it game. does, yes, yes. What have yeah. we been pulling in the most recent set? Or maybe it is Miascarada that we've had as like one of like the really common. Yeah, I was like the Cyclozar is the really Cyclozar, low. The Cyclozar, yeah, yeah. No doubt. Okay. All, right. All right, so Glamora, mm, I don't know about that one. All right, and our final pack from the ETB. Well, I would tell you what, if I got an ETB and only got one full art thing in it, I would feel like a little like upset. So hopefully this one has something. Hopefully we got something else left in there. All right, let's see. The Fooey Coco, the Oh, the Bramblin, I love that. It's just like a tumbleweed. Cool. Just a tumbleweed. It's just like, it's like not that much to <laughs> Oh, the Q-Font's pretty cool. Q-Font? How yep. would you pronounce it? Yeah, Q-Font. Okay. Like uh, elephant. The Krogunk, the Bombardier, the Skiploom. The Dendra, the Sneasel. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, the Bramblin. There it amazing. is right there. Okay, so there you go. The full art Bramblin. That is awesome. That I is really it. cool looking. That's a great, great piece of artwork. And the Luxray. Oh, the Luxray again. again. So let's okay, get yeah, ourselves let's go ahead and sleeve, sleeve there. that guy right there. Man, that is beautiful. That I is. do love that. Like a little like Western town. Look, he's stuck things. on the fence. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, a little train leaf fence right That's there. That's so good. Oh, man. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. All right, so out of our uh, opening uh, Elite Trainer box, we have got the uh, Bramblin and the Segoro. So we're gonna crack into the booster box now and see what else we can collect before the end of the day. There we go. Feel like you're you're due for something something special. I know it has not been my day opening cards. It really hasn't. Yeah. <laughs> this is our second our second show we're recording today, and I feel like I definitely got like a lot of the big pulls earlier. Let's see. So man. Uh. Put it in fun mode. Fun mode, engaged. Oh, all, all the way, All the yeah. way, there we go. Bam. Who's up, who's up top there? You know what, I actually don't even know. This is part of the DLC, and there's a bunch of Pokemon. I haven't beaten the main game yet, so I'm like, I'm working really hard to do it whenever I have an opportunity to. I'm getting close, but so far I haven't gotten there. So I don't know all the new Pokemon, all like the new legendaries just yet. Bam, there's our Giraffe Rig again. I, Tropius is like my favorite Pokemon that I can never convince myself to use in the games. Like, I always love it, and I'm like, it's a giant grass brontosaurus, it's gotta be good, but then it just never is. Oh, man. I know, great ball, the Hoppip, the Raichu, the Gothitelle, the, another Arctabax, the Knack, <laughs> Knacklestack? Yeah, okay, it looks salt. like some- He's like a salt Pokemon, that's what he is. Salt? Yeah, like he's like Knacklestack, I don't know, salt can, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, there you yeah. go. Tarantula, the Rabska, the Dung Beetle Pokemon, that's gonna be our rare for this one, so what does he do? Put a Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench, mm, that's all right, Psy being your opponent's active Pokemon's confused, yeah, that's, that's bulk rare. Bulk. If I ever saw it. Yeah. Looking looking for that last mm -hmm. place position there, aren't we? Alright, no doubt, no doubt. 
Where do all these trainers come from? Are they all like people you can play in game? They're normally like gym leaders and stuff or like characters you encounter while you're playing. That guy looks like he works at the school. Okay. In okay. Mezagoza. Mezagoza. All right, so uh, Deli Bird. Deli Bird. Super Rod, Love Disc, Snover. Uh, so Love Disc is another one where I feel like every single card, it's like they're all different, but they all look exactly it's the just, same. It's just a heart fish. It's Bramble Gas, the, uh, the... Oh, that must be, yeah, it's the evolved form of the... Um, there we go. The Bramblin. Yep, uh, got the Toxicroak, the Crocolore, the Another Luxray. Another Luxray, Again, look wow. Look at that, man. And uh, the Tinka Tank, -tank and... The, oh, oh my is that gosh. our fourth Glamora? It is, wow. man. Wow, we're gonna start losing points. I know, Glamora yeah. feels like a, the lose, lose, a, lose a point. All right, here we go, come on. Give me something big. Give me the Miascarada. So this one's a fun set because all the stuff, the fully evolved starter Pokemon from this gen have like the EX cards. Oh, cool. So yeah, you can get there. Okay, so oh, this looks like, what is that? Uh, Frigibac, so that's the unevolved form. We get in the middle form. We want the um, Baxcalibur is the big one. Okay. Tandemouse, the Sprigatito, the Magnemite, the Tauros again, which I love the art on that. The Mabostiff, there's regular Sigoro, Fuicoco, and Hydreigon. All right, try how. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Always a really like great sounding ability. Like every turn, just whoop, accelerate energy. The problem is it's on the stage two, so it's a little tricky to get out. But stage twos are making a bit of a comeback, so that's something to that's something to be on the lookout for. Someone's gonna make this work, for sure. In fact, this has Little Dark Fury, the other uh, another Pokemon trading card game creator, all over it. Hydreigon is the mascot of his channel. Oh no way! Yeah, this this has him all over it. I guarantee you, like I bet his first deck out is about this card. Nice. Okay, yeah. calling your shot. There we go. There you go. Dark Teardrop, the Hopip, uh, Makuhita. Yes. The Pincursion. The Deanna, that's the unevolved form of the Hydreigon. Okay, the, okay. The Mousehold. Oh, there's Tinka Tuff. Tinka Tuff. Okay, so we're getting closer. We're getting closer. To the yep. Tinka Ton. The Palmo, the Great Ball. Oh, oh the Raichu. Look at it. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's awesome. We'll have to sleeve that guy in the Palm Yes, we will. There we go. Bam. So I guess you could evolve this Pikachu from the ETB into this Raichu, right? Yeah, absolutely you could. That's super fun. Man, what does he do? Electro Charge. Search your deck for up to two basic lightning energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon, and then shuffle your deck. So, immediately powers itself up. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. So, yeah, the first one powers up the second one, and then you have to redo it uh, the next turn. And do you feel like Raichu is a little bit like an unsung hero? Absolutely, yeah. Raichu's an unsung hero. We have a whole video on the main channel about how the Pokemon Company has, like, a war against Raichu, basically because it's not Pikachu. Because it's not Pikachu. <laughs> there yeah. You go. Let's, yeah, let's keep our... Let's, let's keep put our, our Raichu right here in a place of honor. A place of extreme honor and there definitely not underneath anything. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be overshadowed, Raiju. We love you. All right, we've got Sandy Gas, the Makuhita, the Pink Kirchen, the Diana, oh, the Giacomo. I know it does, right? The Talonflame. The Grusha, first one we've got of those, draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If none of your Pokemon have any energy attached, draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand. Okay, so if you just like are don't have any energy in play, it's a draw energy. a little bigger. Yeah. yeah. Spy Dops, first one of those. And oh, oh full art Squawkabilly EX. All right, this is like our first EX from uh, the whole set. Uh, once during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw six cards. You can't use more than one Squawk and Seize ability during your turn. Oh, man. Okay, so. Uh, this is very much like a Crobat or a Dedenne GX. It's like the, the draw six card. So I guess what is, you have to discard your hand and draw. I guess you can do it every single turn, which is kind of powerful. So that feels like it is absolutely going to uh, be in a lot of decks. That's extremely playable for sure. And there's a fire. Interesting. Energy. Okay. Yeah. The, the Squawk ability is always one of those. But I feel like the I feel like it feels out of character. It feels like a mascot for like an Elvis Presley themed like diner. It absolutely has that effect to it. I'm not even sure that's not what they're going for. Um, it, it doesn't end your turn, which is pretty powerful because it means you can do it every turn. And the fact that it's colorless and it even has this attack, motivate, attach up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Like that's usable, like in a pinch if you have to, like you could use that in almost any deck really. So that I bet sees a lot of play. Okay, cool. Right there. Well, as we always know, like from from the box breaker show, a lot of times anything that has playability can often increase its valuability. Yeah, for sure. Look at is it just me? Is it like a three D like almost like that feels like a misprint. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe, like maybe. that's what it's supposed to look like. That's funny. Okay, yeah. a little code card there. All right. 
That'd be down. Quality fire. control. Come on, guys. Fletchling, the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Noibat. I think it's the first Noibat we've seen oh, so yeah, far. Oh, yeah, right. First dragon uh, type. The Pelipper. Yeah, Pelipper. Pelipper. The Fletchrender, the Vigoroth, the Pyroar. Yep. Okay. Uh, Rabska. And. Hariyama. Hariyama. Boom. There we go. Nothing too crazy in that one, I don't think. Not, not <laughs> At least not that I'm aware of. All right, got another uh, Knockley. Nimble. This is I love Nimble because it is the first. It's a Voltorb. It's the first Bug Dark Pokemon ever in the games. Very exciting. I had one on my team, and then I caught a Scyther, and I was like, never mind. I'm still using Scyther instead. Got to. You know, got, got to, to use the Scyther. Pupitar, another Flamigo. So there you go for your Flamboyant. We'll put yeah, that across for you. Uh, the Bombardier, the Tyranitar again, the Knockley, and the Obama Snow. So freezing disaster Pokemon. Both yours and more. Oh, can't be healed. So I don't. Mm, that doesn't seem like it's gonna actually be that good. It feels like it's a. It's a condition you might have to deal with, but healing's just not that big a deal. Okay. okay. That often. In, Do people in not the like game. run potions anymore? Is that not really a thing? It. it it's not like people don't run them. Um, but normally the deck has to almost revolve around like tank and heal, or it's just like, yep, we're gonna take a lot of damage. We're gonna heal it off. We're not gonna take one hit. All right, we won't be one hit KO'd, okay. and we'll just force you to hit us a lot, and in the meantime, we'll deal our own damage back. There we go. So they got the Magikarp, the Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Gotharita. Gotharita. The Honchcrow, the Calamitous Wasteland. Calamitous Wasteland is such a fun name. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, the Kufant, the Miss Magus, and oh, oh another oh Sigoro, what? That's crazy. We're going to get a full playset by the end of this. That is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to stack it on top of our other one then for the for the purpose of There we go. Let's see if I can get my sleeve open. Dang. Oh how, what are the odds of that? That is oh crazy. I know. I can't believe we got Bam. two of the same one. Those are wild odds. But all right, maybe I hope is it how play. I forget even what this guy does. How play? Choose up the two of your Pokemon and heal. So it's more healing. More healing. <laughs> more healing. Lots of healing. Put them in your Gardevoir deck, I guess. Here we go. Whoop. All right, there's Magikarp, Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Kilowattril, the Azumarill. That's, there's the Tinkaton. There we go. Look at him. His oh little gosh. pink guy with a giant hammer. What does he do? You may discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw three cards. That sounds great, honestly. It's the ability to discard and draw three cards. Then special hammer. If this Pokemon has any special energy attached, the attack does 90 more damage. That seems okay. Honestly, it's probably much more about the ability, but the fact that could do um, 180 damage, no problem. This seems like a good GLC card. Uh, then we have Relore, which is terrible, and Spiritomb, man. Spiritomb almost always does something wild and crazy. Fettered in Misfortune. Basic Pokemon V in play have no abilities. So that's like a, gosh, as if Pokemon wasn't tired of people playing Mew, that is basically the Mew killer right there, because that just shuts off all Genesex, and you don't even have to have this in the active. You just put that down, and now Mudex can't draw. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Okay, so, so there that you could, go. Is that basically like the Pokemon Company being like, enough is enough? And they they keep trying to do it with Mew, and they've tried several different options. They had like a, um, a Mighty Anna for a while, and then they gave you Drapion, which is doing a pretty good job of it. But if you have Drapion and that in your deck, it's like, nah, you're just it. That's it. It's too bad. There's no getting around it. Yeah, okay. there's no getting okay. around that. That's really hard to deal with. And even if they do, it's like you can run four of those, you know. Or they only get to take one prize card for it. Okay. So you think people will be playing that Spirit Tomb? That that shuts off Mew pretty hard, I think. Yeah. I think that'll see some play. Okay. Or is it, it's the kind of card where it doesn't need to see play because the fact that it exists will stop means, people like from stops playing. people from playing it because if they play it, if it becomes too popular, it's such a shutdown card. It's such it's such an interesting thing that like the game can literally introduce a counter that doesn't even need to be used for it to successfully counter. Yes, there's actually another spear tomb that does this exact same thing for a deck called Mad Party, where it's just like Mad Party uses Pokemon in the discard pile to power up and the spirit tomb just says move all of your opponents Pokemon from their discard pile back to their deck okay so it's like if mad party ever caught wind at all spirit tomb would just destroy it again okay and in the meantime no one ever plays it so you could probably play a mad party once but it's also just not very good right okay okay yeah all right so we got the Sprigadito, the Quaxley, the Char Ooh, new Char Cadet. there we go there he is uh the red lore uh the Aranguru, the electrode Grafafi. Dude, that's a, that looks like a fan favorite kind of Pokemon, doesn't it? Grafafi. Yes. Yeah. Like a spray paint Pokemon or a graffiti Pokemon. Or is it Grafai? Grafai? Grafai, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I think <laughs> I threw, got it. threw an extra F in there. The the Artisan. Yep. 
Okay, the Mastiff and the Wiggly Tough. Balloon therapy. Once during your turn, you may attach one therapeutic energy card from your hand to one. Oh, so there is a different. Uh, that seems like it could be good if you got. We haven't pulled the therapeutic energy yet, but uh, hopefully we will. Will that be a trainer? It'll be an energy. It'll be an energy. Yeah. Like okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. Is this the same Pikachu from over there? No, it is not. It's a different Pikachu. Okay, yeah, so this one's got Adventuring Together, and that one's got Growl and Pika Bolt. All right, there we go. Pika Bolt. Slack Off, the Watchroll, the Fooey Coco, the Skip Bloom, the Dendra, the Palisand, the Whooper, Obama Snow. Oh, there we go, the Backscalloper. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a basic water energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Okay, so this is a really uh, common water ability that often appears on a stage two, often on a Blastoise even, but it just lets you flood the field with as many water energies as you can get into your hand. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty powerful normally. That's normally like every, every uh, it seems like generation has their water Pokemon that does this. So there you go, that's the Backscalibur you wanna look for. I think there's gonna be like a different like um, alt art version of this card as well in like the um, pre-release sets. Awesome. Yep. So far still only, after this many packs, just five full arts of any description. Yeah, Which and that's feels that's like low pull rates. It does feel low. It feels low, especially like well, we still have a lot left. We do, we do, we do. So it's hard to say. It's hard to say just yet, but we'll 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 keep going. Larvitar, Tarantula, a different Char Cadet again. That's both sets so far. I've had two Char Cadets, so they like that Pokemon. The Ice Cube. Oh, there's the Iono. Okay, so this is probably going to be the most game breaking card from the entire set. This is like the most base rare version of it. Uh, each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player put any cards on the bottom of their deck this way, each player draws a card for each of their remaining prizes. So basically, if you're losing, um, that means your opponent will have like less prize cards than you. So if your opponent has like two prize cards left and they you play this, they have to just they're down to two cards in their hand. Whereas if you have like five prize cards left, you'll have a much bigger hand and more. Oh options. wow, okay. So you can yeah. like really go defensive with it. Yeah, okay. so it's like a, it's a big comeback mechanic. And I suspect many decks are gonna be running four of that card. Also, the uh, illustrator art version or the full art version of this is definitely gonna be lots of points and box breakers. Let's see, we have uh knackle stack. Palestan, Ice Cube, oh, and Dedenne GX. There, there we go. go. All right, uh, move all, tail swap, move all damage counters from one of your bench Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that could actually be maybe okay in Gardevoir. Like if you load up a bunch of uh, damage on something and then it manages to survive the turn, you could just heal. Uh, your Pokemon and damage your opponent's one, and then Wonder Shot, discard an energy from this Pokemon, so that's just sort of a basic thing. Um, yeah, there you go. And it's got the Tarassal uh, ability as well, so it can't be damaged on the bench, which is interesting. All right, well, let's grab a sleeve for that let's guy. Let's do that. It's gonna set the Iono off to the side as well. I'm definitely using that. <laughs> you could gonna stash that for <laughs> your own. Keep that for himself. How long will it take before uh, people are able to start running these cards in their decks? Uh, let's see if it, if it if the set officially releases on June 9th, it is normally two weeks after that. Okay. So the 23rd probably. Okay. Yeah, but there's normally like pre-release events where you can start playing with them um, in like the pre-release format during those two weeks. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, right. yeah. Gives you a chance to kind of get used to everything. Yeah, get used to them and collect the cards so that when the set drops, everyone's had a chance to get them and put them in their decks. And it's not just like first come, first serve. I have the best cards, I win. All right, there's uh, Bramblin again, Q-Funk, Krogunk, Raichu, Arctabax, Azumarill. There's the Flamigo, Ben. There we go. Oh, yeah. and here oh. we go. Ting Lu EX. I can't even tell what he's supposed to look like. That's this guy, though. Ting okay, Lu. there he is. Okay, yeah. There we go. And there's our Rock is Pummeling Energy. Cursed Land. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play that have any damage counters on them have no abilities except for Pokemon EX. So that is a lot, <laughs> a lot of modifiers on there. But basically, if you're opponent's Pokemon in play that have any damage counters on them have no ability. So if you've done damage to stuff and it's not a Pokemon EX, it doesn't have an ability anymore. There you go, Land Scoop, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh, okay, so that's what you do. You attack with Land Scoop, put the damage counters on stuff that you want to take the abilities away from, and then they can't use their abilities anymore. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, so definitely. It's, it's a synergistic card with itself. Yes! There you go. Synergistic! Tinglu! 
that I'll, you can keep this flamingo. You can set that for yourself. Oh, thank you, you know? thank you for yeah. my get, yeah. the, get the reverse hollow one. The tad bulb. Tad bulb, dude. I, that means the evolved form must be in here too, and that's an exciting one because he's so funny looking. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, the frigibax. Frigibax. Is, is that the first of those we've gotten? I think we've got another one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the tandem mouse, the satoddle, the pincursion. Uh, the Zoelis. Yeah, Zoelis. Zoelis. Uh, the Mousehold, the Veluza. The These things are so annoying in the game. They swim so fast and will just torpedo you. It, it reminds me of a Barracuda. Yeah, it's exactly what yeah, they're going for. Go. Oh, that's oh, I love cool. The slack off. That is very adorable. Yawn. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's nice. awesome. And the, oh, oh, look at Gyarados. that Gyarados art. Man, that is up there with the slow bro. That is awesome. That Dude, is super cool. Really like that one. Now, what does it do? If you if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, this attack does 100 more damage. This Pokemon does 50 damage to itself with Berserker Tackle. So it's another comeback mechanic card. Basically, if you're behind, you do more damage and you're able to come back. Interesting. Okay, so Pretty is good. there? A, what was the other one that we just had for the, uh, the, the Iono? Iono? Okay. Yeah. There. So those probably work together in some capacity. In tandem, they're synergistic. In yeah, they're synergistic. Exactly. There's yeah. a um, there's at least there's a Pokemon in here. I think it's a Grass Pokemon. It's one of these guys with the with the different name on it that like knocks itself out and then uh, floods your field with grass energy. Okay. So that like all of the comeback mechanics then like are in play but you're flooded and ready to go. Nice. So yeah, that, that should be fun to look out for. Hopefully we'll pull one of those guys. All right, let's see what's next. Dude, if we can pull one of the Ionos, I'm gonna be so excited. One of the one of the full arts. That'd be, that'd be pretty crazy. All, all right, the, the Murkrow. Crossed. The Misdreavus, the Sneasel, Gotha, this one, I, this is, I don't think we have like a bunch of these yet. Of course, oh, the Jet Energy, I'm very, oh, there's oh, something very something cool back there. back there, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm very excited about this card though, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. When you attach it to one of your bench Pokemon, switch that Pokemon with your active Pokemon. So it's like a switch, so it's like power up and you're in the active, very cool. Fighting Olay, you can use this card only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, more comeback stuff, heal 60 damage from one of your Pokemon. So heal 60 is a pretty big number for healing with like no drawbacks, but the drawback is you have to be losing. Uh, we have the Pupitar and boom! Oh, the Quack -qua the Gold Quack Quabble EX! Look at that guy, that is probably our best pull. Thus far, that's, that that's is pretty gnarly. That is awesome. And I feel like there's just like sass oozing off of that Quaqua. Absolutely, very, like yeah, this can go. Uh, I would say it could go in your flamboyance deck, but he is like he's definitely doing like a like a, a dance the whole time he's out on the field, all the time. Uh, exciting dance. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. If you do, switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to the bench. Your opponent chooses the new active Pokemon. Okay, so that's a good like. Uh, double switch there, it's almost like escape rope. And then spiral shot, put two energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Okay, so that's, man, that's an interesting one. I guess if you had this and Baxcalibur in play at the same time, you could bring those back to your hand and just keep flooding them back over and over and do that 230 damage uh, back to back to back to back to Baxcalibur. Bam, so back, let's to back to back to back to back Scalibur. Let's find that. And then we also have the Oricorio in here. Uh, once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from your active evolution Pokemon. So that's, yeah, okay, I guess. Anyway, a lot of dancing birds in this one, Ben. Oricorio and Quackwobble. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Dude, that's a great pull, though. How exciting. That is very cool. That is very cool. Always fun when you get something gold in there. I know, right? Did we get nothing gold in today's? I don't think we got a gold no, card in today's. Gold, we were yeah. due. We were due. No, we got the gold lightning. The gold lightning energy. You're right. Yeah, okay. for that's Gola. true. That's true. Okay. That does count for something. I guess it counts. Worth $12.35. There should be new gold energy in this one, I would bet. Okay. So something, yeah. to, something yeah. to look forward to. Something to look forward to. to aspire. So uh, there was fighting and lightning, lightning in the last, in the last one. one. So I'm not be... sure what they are this time, though. Okay. So Charcadet, Murkrow, Mischievous, Sneasel, Bramblegast, Superior Energy Retrieval. Mm, people have been looking forward to the return of this one. Basically, uh, discard a card, get two energy back from your discard pile. I don't know if this is our first Pseudo Wudo or not, but there is an Illustrator Rare of the Pseudo Wudo that I know is pretty popular. Ooh. The Nimble. Nice. Oh, oh I thought that was going to be it for a second. Oh, this is an Illustrator Art Skeledurge. EX. So man, back to back packs with um, like hype, very rare starter Pokemon EXs. Very impressive. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh. oh, the belly bolt. So this is the tad bulb guy I was saying. That's awesome. That is so That's funny. So cool. Okay, All let's right. get some sleeves here for these guys. Yeah, let's look at the Skeledurge first. The, so Vitality Song, heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon, does 50 damage. Okay, so for a single energy, that seems pretty solid. Uh, Burning Voice, uh, this attack does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. It does so 270 minus. Yeah, minus however much damage is on there. 
there. So I can see, uh, but for two energy to do 270, that is a lot. So like the, the turn you bring it in, you're gonna be swinging big early and then obviously it can heal itself as well. Uh, so I don't know, man, it's hard to know if that's gonna be ultimately very good or not. It doesn't feel like it's extremely competitive, especially, it'd be nice if it hit for 280. That's like the magic number. Okay, That's okay. like, uh, that you wanna be, but 340 HP, that's huge. That's huge. So you'd be able to get a couple attacks off, no doubt. Uh, and it can heal itself, so. There's that Belly Bolt EX, Jumping Press for two colorless. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, don't apply weakness, so that's just, don't apply weakness and resistance, so just bam, nice spread damage, hit the bench. That can knock off some very weak stuff early on. But you have to evolve into it, so there's that. Paralyzing Ball for two electric and one colorless. You may discard two lightning energy from this Pokemon to make your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. That is powerful. That's guaranteed uh, paralysis, which is uh, always, always something to be on the lookout for. Paralysis is hands down the strongest status effect in the game. And the fact that you could potentially spam that over and over seems really good. There we go, okay. Yeah. Who'd have thought, man? Okay, I think you're out. What a pack, what a pack. Okay, it's... start starting to feel like our pull rates are finding their way They're in. They're getting better. We got the Gold Quaquavel, the Illustrator Art Skeledurge, yeah. That's... So what I'm, what I'm seeing is that if you're buying from your local card shop, be <coughs> sure to ask for a pack from the middle. Yeah, right, that's what I'm seeing. Our Wingold, don't think we have that one yet. Not a huge deal, but the Tinka Tink, that's a different Tinka Tink than we've already got. Mabostiff, the Quaxwell to evolve into your Quaquavel, the Sigoro, the less good one, Tadbulb, Slacking, and the Wiggly Tough. All right, so we, we've we've calmed down a second there. Okay, okay. Well, we had we had a lot of like a lot of fireworks for a hot second. So. That we did. All right, pack number next: the Knockley, the Fui Coco, the Wattrel, the Tinka Tink. Oh, the Satite. Look at that artwork. I do like that one. Yeah, that's super awesome. Uh, the Corviknight, which the, uh, Pokemon like this just bore the crap out of me. Just I'm not gonna big lie. Black bird. Just, just you know, it's kind of like okay. Yep. Um, the the Dunsparce. That's pretty fun looking. Pokemon. That's like a total meme. They're just like, fine, we'll evolve it. <sighs> it's the Dunsparce. The Dunsparce. <laughs> Um, what do we got going on here? This Passimian. guy's, that's guy, the guy's chilling up in a tree. He's pretty yep. cool. The bravery, With the bravery charm. charm, excellent. And the Sableye. Sableye, boy, you always have to look out for a Sableye card. They always do something tricky. Your opponent's active Pokemon's now asleep. Your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition. This attack does 70 more damage. Okay, so yeah, you use the first one, then the second one, and then you can do 90 damage for one dark. That's all right, that's all right. The Shrewdle. Phalanx, Jigglypuff, Tadbulb, Giacomo, Talonflame. Here, oh, we got something here, ready? Uh, Tandem Mouse and into, oh, oh there's, there's a Pseudo Wudo! Wudo! Oh my gosh, this is the one you were just talking about. Oh my, I could not see it. I thought it was down there. <laughs> the whole point is I'm yeah. sure that it's blending uh, yeah, in. Yeah, he's, he's just hanging out right there like a little shrubbery. There he is, all right, hit and hide. Flip a coin, if heads, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. That's always super annoying. You could just like, Exi that sounds like a really good GLC card for fighting decks, and then Elbow Strike, uh, fighting two colorless, 90, base, oh! oh! Full Art to Dene EX, so we pulled the other one, right? Uh, there's, oh, there's the Full Art version and the regular base art version. Uh, this one's obviously gonna be worth a little bit more, but man, what a cool looking card. That is super cool looking. Yeah, man, yeah, so we need those are both really gorgeous. Gonna need some sleeves. What a good pack! Okay, we're well, starting to get somewhere We are now. catching some fire. See if we can carry that momentum. Now, now is like for a while I was like, okay, we got we got a lot of potential energy left on the table because we hadn't pulled very much. Now I feel like we've pulled some stuff, and it's like, okay, it was, could there be anything left? Could there be? Okay, um, <coughs> let's see the Merrill. Yep. Nice Wingull. Uh, the Pineco. The Pelipper. Yep. Uh, Fletch. Fletchinder. Fletch there we go. Toxicroak. The Relor. Uh, oh, another Glamora. Another oh, one. No. Oh, oh, look at the art on this guy. And, uh, That's oh, pretty man. sweet. Sarah Ledge. Is this somehow related to your Scyther? Because it looks like something's got swords for hands. It is related to the Charcadet, so it can evolve okay. either into this or Armor Rouge. Okay. Life Sucker. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon or Fighting Sword. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX or a Pokemon V, this attack is 100 more damage. Yeesh. Man, all right, well, that's pretty solid. It's just 200, although three energy to power up for, th it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We'll see, we'll see. I love the artwork on it, though. All right, well done, sir. I can't even say, say his name. Cerulege? Cerulege? Cerulege. Cerulege. Let's right. go with that. Cerulege yeah, that sounds, sounds right. right, okay. Yep. All right, let's 
see here. So let's look kind of sad. We got the fireball energy coming off there. The shrewdal, the glimmet. Glimmet, so into our glamora, which we've pulled more glamora than glimmets so far. Yeah, how about that? So the Bramblin, the Shinx, the Pupitar, the Faulkner. Faulkner, what does he do? Draw two cards, you have a stadium, draw two more. Meh, this is all right. I uh, mean, I uh, guess that's okay. So Viper, what, what is the point of releasing a card that like is just like a, like, like, would some people just play it? Just I, it's it's one of those, it's like, it's like maybe there's a niche use, and it's like, you know, if you have a stadium in play, draw four, like, draw four, not that, it's not hard to have a stadium in play, and draw four is pretty good, whereas draw three is pretty mid. Okay. So, it's like, you don't have to discard anything, but like, or is that going to be your supporter for turn? Like, eh, you know. Uh, the Tarantula, <laughs> the Clavel... And the oh, Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Is that our there third Tyranitar? I believe so. I think we had two hollows and a reverse hollow so yes. far. All so right. yeah, looking pretty good. Here we go. I wanna say maybe there's a I think there's an illustrator art or a trainer gallery art of the Tyranitar that is really cool in this set. Let's we'll see if we can that'd be awesome to get. Let's see. Bam. Oh the Mankey again. Love the artwork. The Della Bird, the Super Rob, the Love Disc. There it is, the Frig Giraffe. That's hysterical. <laughs> He's just like a yeah. giant space giraffe, man. He's so funny. Looks very derpy. What does he do? Choose a play Choose a player. That player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws four cards. Ooh, that's interesting. I mean, it's on a stage one, but like that could be fun to like disrupt your opponent or like refill your own hand. The Zwilus, the Spy Dops. Magnemite and oh, oh the Gyarados goes. again, man, so pretty. I love that. Like I want to play. This is like one of those cards. Is like the artwork's so nice. You just want to play the deck for the sake of it. Right, right. I know. I've had a couple of those that have come through so far. Where I'm like, I would just like to see that in use. Right, exactly. Like I just, I want to, I want to be using that card. Got a little eyeball energy there. Tinka Tank, the Mankey, the Della Bird. Yep. Uh, Super Rob, the Orangaroo, the Electrode, the Vigoroth, the Crow Gunk. The Shinx, the Shinx and the Tinkaton. What does the Shinx do? Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to the bench. Oh, that's fun. That's just like a nice, like, oh, this is there. Move. That seems like it could be like a control deck sort of thing. Like, this is out there. It's easy. I don't care if it gets knocked out. Disrupt your problem. Deal with it. I can Deal. See the, I can see the Shinx getting some, some sort of very niche play in that regard. And the other thing that keeps happening is I'll hear like an effect. I'm like, oh, that sounds really powerful. I'm like, <laughs> but the problem is, Minister, they have magic too. Right. <laughs> it's like it's like the other the other side can also do things. Right. This is always the problem in these games. Uh, Pinkurchin, Makuhita, Magikarp, the Ice Q. What does the Ice Q do? Sometimes these guys are they're really. Oh, we have another Iono. I'm gonna hey, put that off to the right, side. Yeah, saving it. Frigid Block. Discard all energy from this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 100 less damage. Okay, so that seems like it also goes with the back scalibur then. Like, just like, heal yourself up some. Ooh, the new boss's orders with the Getsis. So there's definitely gonna be a full art Getsis. That's gonna be, That'll be a, a high dollar yep, card for yep. sure. That's just switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon into the active so you can beat it up. Reverse hollow of the Pikachu. Reverse, yep, and the Palmot. Not as good as the other Palmot from the last set, but there you go, the boss's orders. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep that off to the side with the Iono. Nice. My daughter calls her uh, little stuffed bear thing, Oh No. And oh so No? Every time you say, I Oh No, I always think, Oh No. Oh No. Oh No. Oh No. That's what she says. It's really cute. No, oh, it is cute. I've seen it. I've seen it in person. She loves Oh No. Yeah. Okay. So maybe that'll be her favorite. Maybe. That, uh, maybe that'll know. be like her vibe as she gets older. This like is the, her the, vibe. The giant oversized sweater vibe. Yeah, well, that would be pretty appropriate because Iono in games is an influencer. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. <laughs> oh my gosh. Although I don't know if I would I don't know if I would wish it on anybody. Well, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We got the you have to it's a path you have to choose. Yeah, there you go. The mastiff, the <laughs> I really love that one. I don't I mean it just like, it just makes me happy to look at. Uh the pa Paldean Whooper. Yep. Uh Pyroar. Uh, Luxio. Oh, there's luminous the luminous energy. energy. Look at yeah, this guy. Yeah. This is any special energy like this is like almost game breaker. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon and provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. So basic rainbow energy. But if the Pokemon this card is attached to has any other special energy attached, this card provides just colorless energy instead. So you can only have one of them on 
at a time. Okay. okay. One one special energy at a time. So that's sort of like letting you put one on, but like Lugi, you can't just like flood the board with rainbow energy, okay, which is gotcha, what they're gotcha. trying to avoid for sure with this card. But that's still very good. We'll put that right there. Okay, I got the Nackley, yeah. the Litleo, and, and oh, the Luxray Lux again. So we're getting a lot of those. Oh, I don't think we pulled the Snover yet. I don't think so. This comes brand part. new. All right, Voltorb, Clavel, the Pyroar, the Florigatu, the Mousehold, the Phalanx, Tinkatuff, and the Cer... Oh my God, I'm never going to be able to say this name. Cerulege. 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 There we go. Bam. Two in a row now. Just think Not Cerulean City, except Cerulege. Cerulege. Don't fall off the Cerulege. At Cerulean City. At Cerulean City. <laughs> uh, Love Disc, Snover, Fletchling, Voltorb, Pincursion, the Crocolore. Uh, the Graphii. Graphii. Okay, the Super Rod, the Faulkner, and the Mimikyu. There we go. Which, of course, looks like every other Mimikyu that's ever been printed. Big Steve is going to run, is going to play that Mimikyu a lot. I yeah. can already tell you. That's a very, it's a control style card. He's going to be running it. It's going to be annoying. I don't like it already. Yeah. Shout out to Big Steve. Shout out to Big Steve, wherever you are, man. Loves them control decks. Loves them control decks. It's very annoying to play against, for sure. Especially if you don't have experience against exactly what they're trying to do. Hmm. Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Pommy, the Calamitous Snowy Mountain, Corvus Wire, Artisan, we saw this one earlier, I didn't read it. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box and put it onto their bench. Oh, well that's just awesome. Uh, that player then shuffles their deck. Man, that is, that seems really good, actually. That's, that's gonna, useful. that feels pretty usable. Uh, that goes in so many things to get the Pokemon you need right away. Your right. opponent can do it too, which is of course the downside, but you maybe have a way to like get rid of your own stadium or something. Maybe you play Worker or something in there. I don't know. Lost Vacuum. I can see this being very good with Lost Vacuum. Like you play it, get your Pokemon out, Lost Vacuum something away, off to the races. That's a good card for sure. Uh, Weavile, Sableye. Oh! Oh, oh, we talked about the Miascarada EX. So the like, um, we got the. Illustrator rare version of the Skeledurge. If we got the Illustrator rare version of the Meowscarada, that is apparently like the one to get. But let's see what this guy does. Bokeh Magic. You must, discard a, you must discard a basic grass energy from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. All right, that's pretty good. Just putting damage counters on the board. Uh, and then Scratching Nails. Uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 120 more damage. So obviously what they're going for is setting up this attack with the first, uh, with the ability uh, later on. So nearly, you put the three damage counters on, maybe you pull it up, and then you do Scratching Nails for 220 plus the 30, so 250, which again is like 30 short of that magic 280 number, but that's still a lot of damage. <laughs> There's so much information. So much to take in. What, you guys didn't get all that? I uh, know, yeah, well, no, no, absolutely. Every single morning I walk into the office and Jay is like, all right, so last night I was playing this game. And he <laughs> had this in there and then all of a sudden he played a damage counter and then uh, due to weaknesses and or um, yeah. properties. <laughs> properties. <laughs> and properties, this guy. <clears throat> it helps to be able to talk through it sometimes. You it know? does, it does. Oh man, there's a scene in the movie Euro Trip where they get on the bus and they're like, the one guy's like, so I tell the swamp donkey to give him a trunk in the tradesman's entrance before I have it. Yeah. <laughs> and the other guy goes, wow, you guys are in a completely different level of swearing over here. <laughs> Uh, Ethan knows what I'm talking about. Maybe yeah. you can play it for it. Oh, no. I, I oh, just you went right from the back. I just went from the back. I did the thing. The Pikachu, the Q font, the Crow Gunk, uh, the Rookadee. Rookadee. Rookadee, the Bombardier. And there's your Flamingo uh, bed. Yeah, keep yeah, that. My yep. Flamboyance, the Tauros, the Meryl. Oh, oh, look at that. The Quaxwell. So even though you, like, sneak revealed the back card, yes, there was so still was, a better was one. Slack King. Okay, that's awesome. There All right, go. so hang on. Let me tell you what this guy does because it's, it's a very interesting move. So, um... Basically, he can do Water Gun, yeah. which does 30 damage. Solid. Alternatively, Wave Splash, mm -hmm. which does 50 damage. No effects at all, no just straight damage whatsoever. from Quaxwell. Just, just damage. But you know what we're looking at here, Ben? We are looking at the uh, uh, a fantastic evolution line of great artwork from, we just need the, like a really cool Quaxly to go with this line, and then we can just, we're like all the way, we're like halfway there. We're halfway there. To being, to uh, having a really great uh, Quackwobble bling deck. I love you know? it, I love it. Right? 
fucking good. So we've actually pulled the Miascara out of the Quackwavel and the Skeletor GX out of one box. That's awesome. I know, it's very impressive. In varying like rarities, too. Our, our pile here is starting to look pretty impressive at There's this no point. There's no doubt yeah. about looking, that. Looking really good. There's Tropius, my favorite banana beard. Dunsparce, the Hop Dip, the Whooper, the Tinkatuff, the Palmo, the Gotharita, the Hair Across. There's the or only the second Orthworm. I was just about to say that now, we have not pulled another one. Now we can give uh, Big Steve one and the Tyranitar again. Ba Boom! That's like our fourth Titar, so we're getting a few of those guys. Yeah, but the important stack. thing is the Orthworm. A playset, as it were. Yeah, playset. That's four. Yeah. I know things. You got it. Yeah. You got it. I've listened. This guy. I know. I know. Doing his homework. Maybe one day he'll know the rules of the game. Maybe. The Magnemite, right. the Phalanx, the Combi, the Jigglypuff, the Skip Loom, the Dendra, the Palosan, the Bramblin, the Fletchender, yep. and ooh, oh, here we go, Paldean Clodsire. Clodsire. That's got to evolve from the Whooper, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's see what this guy does. Once during your turn, if a stadium is in play, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poison. Oh, so that doesn't even have to be an active. It can just be on the bench. And then a needle bone, flip a coin. If tails during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Oh, oh okay. Well, all right. Well, that's kind of you say so. That's kind of frustrating. That is. I don't feel like I would ever run something like that. that personally, like, yeah. It's, it's like, like it's like mm. yeah. I don't I don't like that. I don't like a world where I have to depend on a coin flip at right. any point in time. Yeah, I think the advantage would be that you can just always make your opponent's Pokemon poisoned. But then you also have to have the stadium in play too. So. Is that to, to know, potentially work around? Up a lot of Maybe you do your Faulkner in there, you know, make sure you have your stadium in play, draw four, poison them, go from there. Then of but, course I could use either Iona or Boss's Orders. Well, not if you play Faulkner in that turn. Well, what about Grusha? Support. Yeah. Well, you can only play one supporter for a turn, Ben. So. You've already played your Faulkner. I, I, I am just looking at cards and saying things at this point. I know. I know. All right, there we go. We have the Larvitar for your Tyranitar. Nice. Sienna, the Sandy Gas, Tarantula. Ooh, look at that, Paul Dantoros. That's Man. really cool looking. That is oh, This looks like easily the most dangerous one. Oh, my goodness. That is properly terrifying. What is this guy? Practice studio. We haven't pulled this yet. That's kind of fun. It seems like you just go play like a little game of soccer out there. Yeah, the attacks of stage one one Pokemon do 10 more damage to the opponent. That, that's going to be used in something big time for sure. Absolutely. That feels like it goes right in like Mew or something as well. Not that you can play Mew anymore because of the Spiritomb. But Florigato, uh, the Vigoroth. Oh, speaking uh, of which, there it is. Oh, there's the Low Kicks. The, the Dark Bug Pokemon at long last. At last long. There you go. Assault and Kick at this Pokemon. Evolve from Nimble during this turn. This attack does 100 more damage. I think there is a Scyther that ha or a Scizor that has that exact attack, but it is... Evolving from Scyther instead of evolving from Nimble. What a copycat! Wow, poser, embarrassing Lokes. man. Think you can? Think you can just rip off Scyther like that? I don't think so. No, no, think we're not going to notice? No, sir, you Bob. Yeah. All right. All right, man. This is our last pack. No, we have two more. Two packs left. Okay. Right. Let's see here. Got the Wooper, the Noibat, the Combi, the Glimmit, the Passimian. Yep. The Corviknight, Boring, Seviper. The low oh, kicks. the low kicks. We haven't pulled one low kicks the whole time, and now we've pulled two in a row. There we go, the Charcadet. And the Beluza. Oh, and that's it. the last oh, one. Okay. All right. Well, Ben, maybe we always talk about it on Box Breakers how we want the last pack to be the best one. Maybe this will be it. Maybe this is the best pack in the whole box all day. We're going to end We're gonna end on a high note. This is the Iono for sure. Absolutely. Full art Iono, or maybe, maybe we'll bookend it and we'll get a third Sigoro. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would be very funny. All right, we have Clavel. We've got Tropius. Dunsparce. Hoppip. Titan, Ben's favorite Faulkner. Oh, yeah. The Dunsparce. Crocolore. Arctabax. And... Oh, wait. Orthworm. Yeah, Orthworm. Orthworm's oh, the last hey. one! Hey. There we go. We got three Orthworm on the day. Boom. Put that there. There we go. That is our full box of uh, cards, plus an ETB. Let's see, how did we do? I mean, honestly, pretty great. Like, I feel pretty like there's good. lots of stuff going on here. Um, I am very curious to see out of these what has got the most uh, most value. Is there anything that, like, screams to you as a candidate for high-value card? If I had to guess, it's probably the Skeletor GX. Might have been the best one we pulled today just because it's that Illustrator Rare and it's, like, the fully evolved fire starter, so it has, like, a little bit of... Charizard cachet to it, okay. but then also the the gold quick hobble uh, is just also the fully evolved water starter. So there's that. Um, otherwise, 
I can imagine the pseudo wudo you mentioned having, like, if you heard about it ahead of time. Right, I feel like that, that speaks to something. That speaks to something, right? Yeah, okay, the pseudo wudo, the hit and hide. Let's go, let's go! Hit and hide! Yeah! Yeah, very exciting yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's a very fun uh, looking card, too. I love the artwork on that. But man, what a fun uh, early opening of Paldea of Vault. Hope you enjoyed the preview of the upcoming season of Box Breakers. If you want to, uh, uh, take part in the game, Box Breakers. You can head over to super or patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and sign up at the Box Breakers tier. At the moment, it's sold out, but you never know. Always worth checking back in to see if a spot is open. Yeah, and we do also have a wait list uh, in the description down below if you'd be interested in knowing first if, in fact, a spot does open up um, because we do have some really cool stuff on the horizon, including uh, Paldia Evolved, and then I believe we have another set similar to Crown Zenith yeah. uh, coming out after that where we'll have another one-month season, which mm -hmm. the, the Crown Zenith season Season so far has been my favorite. Like, there's just so many cool yeah, and radical pulls, and it was just like, yeah, it was just any, any pack could be anything at any point in time. And so we saw some really big scores go up out of that one. So yeah, that was really fun. All, all super, super exciting. But um, otherwise, guys, as ever, thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, bye. bye.